be cool, just move with the groove. No funk in here, the beat way too smooth. Yeah. Let's yeah. just do what we can do. YOLO, YOLO, YouTube. You know, host migrations, is it just me or do they cock up the spawns? Ten years later. Thank you, Scottish man. Why? Why? Every game. Really think? Wow. A bit of a record here. So do these multiple host migrations here seriously cock up the spawns? Fifteen years later. I love this man. Oh my god. Let the games begin. Well, there is only one way to find out. Watch the spawns, baby. These are awesome. You'll notice here is me and there is the enemy. Nice spawn okay maybe that was a one-off we'll see we'll see how it plays out for the rest of the game shall we uh whenever you see a little figure without a game attack above their head that's because it's me obviously i was on the blue team the other team is the orange team because i got the old color blind assist on because it's pretty um so watch out watch out for those blues and those oranges and and we'll see how it works out look there's me that's good um They've, they've come into our half of the map a little bit, but that's fine. Oh, wait, there's all the enemies spawning behind me. That's, that's not going to work out well for me, is it? Um, I don't think it is just me. I think when you have host migrations, the spawn system becomes really seriously badly affected. I've noticed this before. Uh, particularly, it seems, if you are migrated and made host, the enemy seem to kind of spawn around you. It's like the game loses the ability to distinguish between who is an enemy and who is a friendly teammate. If you think about it, when you're playing Kill Confirmed, after a host migration on the minimap, when the tags come up, you get gold tags for every single tag that's lying around on the map. Whether it's actually a red tag, whether it's a teammate's tag, the game can't distinguish. It can't tell you these are your tags from a kill you made. So it shows you every tag. That seems to me a little bit of an indicator that the game has serious problems recognising the difference between enemy and friend after a host migration. This deserves a slow-mo, look at this. I die, I respawn, literally yards away from chanciest maple. Best spawn ever. And you can see as the game continues, it, it just carries on. It went on for, for the whole game. I was also doing no perks, no attachments on my M27 at the time. So it was just, it was, it was like the best game ever. This is obviously not all in my head. In particular, you can see for this game um, that it was seriously cocked up. But is this due to the fact that there was multiple host migrations? Or is it just that the spawns are normally this bad? I've never noticed it this bad on Nuketown in a game where there hasn't been a host migration. But I'd be interested if you've had similar experiences. Hit me up in the comments and let me know. Uh, we all know the spawn system isn't that great on Black Ops 2. But is it host migrations that are making it worse? Be cool, just move with the groove. No funk in here, the beat way too smooth. Yeah. Let's yeah. just do what we can. Do.